بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about elbow fat bad sign Here we see the Lateral elbow x-ray in a child, normally the elbow fat bed of intracapsular but extracynovial. They are visible anteriorly to the elbow joint and not posteriorly. As we see here, it is seen anteriorly and not posteriorly. Effusion is elevation of both anterior and posterior fat beds are seen on the lateral x-ray. And in this patient also we see the subunitor fat bed sign in a straight fashion. Here we see the olecranum fossa and the coronoid fossa. As we see here, the olecranon fossa is larger than the coronoid fossa. And it is larger on the olecranon fossa to accommodate the olecranon and it is smaller in the coronoid fossa to accommodate the coronal process. The coronoid fossa, it is related to anterior fat bad sign. The fluid in the anterior bad sign is collected in the coronoid fossa, while the posterior fat bad sign fluid, it is accumulated in the olecranon fossa. Normally, the anterior fat bad sign is visible as lucent line hugging the anterior humeral cortex. If it is abnormal, it is called sail sign or thor sign and elevated anteriorly as we see in the images after that. Here, this is the abnormal anterior fat bad sign and also abnormal posterior fat bad sign. Always posterior fat sign, posterior fat bad sign is abnormal. The fat here, once the anterior fat bad sign is abnormal, it is looks like sail or thorn sign and indicate the patient has sustained intra-articular injury. Important, it is, does not indicate the patient has definitely bony injury. Fat bad sign does not equal fracture. Fat bad sign indicate increased chance of a fracture. There is one study of studies investigated the correlation between fat bad sign and the bony injury. And these studies reported the, that the anterior fat bad sign, anterior fat bad sign indicate the probability of intra-articular fracture in about 70 to 80 percent, while the posterior fat bad sign indicate 90 percent chance of intra-articular fracture. The anterior fat bad sign can be seen in normal elbow, but the posterior fat bad sign is never visible in normal elbow. Anterior fat bad 
sign. Uh, as we said, it is located within the coronoid fossa. While the posterior fat bad sign, it is located in the olecranon fossa. An intraarticular fracture will cause leakage of blood and marrow into the joint, giving the joint effusion. This displaces the fat pads away from the bone. Normal fat pad does not exclude the fracture. Injury to the elbow may rupture the joint capsule, enabling the hemoarthrosis to drain from the joint. Consequently, raised fat bats will not be visualized. Here, as we see abnormal anterior fat bat sign, cell sign or thorn sign. In the acute injury to the elbow elevated Posterior fat bad sign suggests the possibility of the intracapsular fracture, as we said in this previous study, uh, reaching about 90%. Most causes in children are supracondylar fracture, lateral epicondyle, and separation of medial epicondylar ossification centers. Most causes in adults radial head or neck fracture, or the cranial fracture, dislocation and the fracture slash dislocation. Value of posterior fat pad sign depends on its ability to predict an an occult fracture in absence of radiographically visible fracture. <laughs> Here, another patient with an abnormal anterior fat bad sign and posterior abnormal posterior fat bad sign in the fracture head, radial head. But we should be cautious. There is false negative and false positive fat bad sign. False negative fat bad sign occur if there is poor radiographic position with an extra capsular abnormality or capsular rupture. And false positive fat bad sign can be seen when the elbow extended. Here we see a raised subinator fat bad sign, and here we see abnormal anterior fat bad sign. The subinator fat bad sign or obliterated as a result of bony injury, especially the radial head. Here we see the normal subinator fat bad sign and normal anterior fat bad sign in this patient. Here we see another patient with abnormal anterior fat bad sign and posterior fat bad sign and abnormal subunitor fat bad sign. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.